Hello second grade! Today we are jumping into chapter 7. We just finished chapter 6 yesterday and I am super excited because chapter 7 we get to learn about money and time. So today we are going to be learning about money. We're going to start with the basics of learning about a penny, a nickel, and a dime and I'm going to teach you all you need to know about those. And then as the days go on we'll learn more about money. Um, I'm pretty excited because there's quite a few cool games that we get to play as we learn about money and I am super excited to go on this money adventure with you. So let's get started. This is lesson 7.1. It is the first lesson in our new chapter 7 math books. We are going to start this chapter by learning about dimes, nickels, and pennies. So let's first take a look at a penny. This is a picture of a penny blown up. Um, this is the heads and the tails of a penny. A penny is worth one cent. So another way to write that is one with a C and a line through it. So that C with a line through it is actually the symbol for cent. So here are a couple of pennies that I have and they are worth only one cent. So now let's look at a nickel. This is a nickel. This is the heads and the tails of a nickel. A nickel is worth five cents. Um, again, writing five cents and then five with the C and the line through it is another way to write that. Here's a couple of real nickels not blown up that you can see. Then here's a picture of the last one we're going to be learning about today, which is a dime. A dime is worth 10 cents. Again, the front and the back of the dime. And another way to write that is the 10 with the little C through it, making it 10 cents. So what we're going to do now is compare these values of these different um, coins together. So when we look at a nickel, we know that a nickel is worth 5 cents. So if we wanted to compare that to um, pennies, we can say that a nickel is worth five pennies. So I'm going to write that and I'm going to put that right here. One, two, three, four, five. So five pennies whoop, equals one nickel. So I just want you to see that, that that's the comparison between one penny and a nickel, uh, five pennies and a nickel. So then when we look at a dime, we can say that a dime is worth 10 cents or 10 pennies. So we're going to count out 10 pennies. And I'll go ahead and put them right here. So we can see that, let me try and put this a little bit neater. So we can see that 10 pennies equals one dime. Another way we can think about um, a dime is that a dime is worth 10 cents. And we know that nickels are worth five cents. So if we wanted to make 10 cents with nickels, we can use two nickels to equal one dime. So these are just some comparisons of how you can think about pennies versus nickels and pennies versus dimes and nickels versus dimes. This is one way that you can look at this information. So what I want to talk about next is how we can begin to count these when we are given a couple of them. So let me clear this off real quick and flip this over. So we're going to start with pennies. So if we had a couple of pennies, and this will be in your math book today, if we had a couple of pennies, the way we would count these pennies is by saying one cent, two cents, three cents, four cents, five cents, six cents. And then we would want to make sure that we write that as a complete total of six cents. Now if we were to t count just nickels by themselves, I'm going to put a group of them down here. When we count nickels, we count in fives because we know that they're worth five. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a little line down here and count by fives. We have five, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. You see how I just, each nickel was worth five, so I just counted up by five, and that means that we have here 30 cents. Now, if we looked at a couple of dimes, when we have dimes, we count them by tens because we know that a dime now is worth 10 cents, I mean, yeah, 10 cents. So again, counting by tens, 10, 
20, 30, 40, and we know, then we know we have 40 cents. Now you see how I'm using that cent symbol, the C with the line through it, to show the total amount of numbers that I have there. So now I'm going to give you a challenge. What if we were given a couple of these different values like pennies, nickels, and dimes together. How could we count those? So I'm going to arrange a couple here. Let's do so here we have three nickels and one penny. So to count these we would start with the nickels and we would start counting by five. So I have five, ten, fifteen, and then I know a penny is worth one cent, so that gives us 16, making this total 16 cents. Let's try a different example. Let's start with dimes, and let's throw in two nickels. I'm going to go ahead and count those up. So we know a dime is worth 10 cents, so we're going to start by counting 10, 20, 30, and then a nickel is worth five cents, so we're going to add five, thirty-five, forty. This would be forty cents. I'm making sure that I'm putting my cent symbol just so I know how much that is. So if we were to, let's give one more example here. If I had a dime, two nickels, and three pennies. So I'm going to post a chart that's going to help you just remember what each value of these coins are. And you can use that chart as you do your math today. So we're going to look at the dime. We know a dime's worth 10 cents. And then we know a nickel's worth five, uh, 5 cents, making it 15. Another 5 would give us 20. And then we have cent, uh, pennies. So we would do 21, 22, 23, making the total... 23 cents. So today when you work on your own in your math books, they are going to give you pictures of um, these coins, both heads up and heads down, um, and you are going to be in charge of counting those numbers. Let's just review one more time what each one is worth. So we know that a penny is worth one cent. A dime is worth 10 cents and a nickel is worth five cents. So today your job is to really, you could go around your house and look for a couple of these pennies, nickels, and dimes and explore what they look like a little bit closer. And you can also use those when you count in your math. Let me know if you have any questions. I will see you guys tomorrow.